Welcome my heroes to the math session. Today's lesson is practice multiplication and division facts. And what we will do today, we will solve questions on multiplication and division. Many questions on multiplication and divisions. Okay, so we will solve questions like this. Use multiplication or division facts to complete the equations. In the first one here in question number three, 45 divided by 5 and we'll complete this one 5 times what gives 45 of course these two are in the same family and the same for question number 3 uh, number 4 3 times what number gives 21 so 21 divided by 3 equals what okay now my heroes I want you all to open your books page Okay, great. And now I will play a video. I want you to focus with the video. Page two hundred and six. Page two hundred and six. Right. Okay. Now I will play a video. I want you to focus. Just a second. You can use facts you already know to solve problems. Sabrina has 28 quarters in her bank. She wants to trade all of them for $1 bills. How many $1 bills will she get? Let's find out. You can use repeated addition to find how many quarters make $1. 25 cents plus 25 cents plus 25 cents plus 25 cents equals 100 cents or one dollar there are four quarters in one dollar there are different ways to find how many one dollar bills Sabrina will get one way is to find how many equal groups of four are in 28 since each group has four you can use a known division fact 28 is the dividend 4 is the divisor. 28 divided by 4 equals 7. To check your work, you can subtract 4 from 28 7 times. There are 7 equal groups of 4 in 28. So, 7 is the correct quotient. Another way to solve the problem is to find what number times 4 equals 28. Make an array with 28 quarters. There are four quarters in each row. How many rows are there? Select your answer. Okay. So here I'll choose one of my heroes to tell me which one to choose. Adam. Adam Hazim I'm okay. Yes, my hero. How many rows? This is Hazim, right? Hazim, you are here. Okay, Hussein, I didn't call you. Okay, Ziad. How many rows? Uh, one. Seven. Seven. Okay, let's see. I will pick this seven and I will put it in this place. 
And let's see. There are seven rows. Yes. Thank seven you, times hero. four equals 28. Sabrina can trade 28 quarters for seven $1 bills. The array also shows that 28 can be divided into seven groups of four. Now you know how to use multiplication and division facts you already know to solve problems. Okay, my hair is back to the book. And go down. And let's see this question with one of our heroes. Saleh. Saleh. Rida Sultan. Okay, Rida. Why can both 28 divided by 7 equals question mark? And a question mark multiplied by 7 equals 28. Be used to solve the problem above. Why can you use any of these two equations or any of, two the, uh, of these two facts? Do you know why? Do you remember about something called family? Fact family? Reda, Reda, use your mic, please. Do you remember the fact family? Yes. Yes, these two equations are in the same fact family. Yes. Yes, of course, because for the first one, 28 divided by 7 equals 4. And 4 times 7 equals 28. So we are using 4, 7, 28. So the, they, oh sorry, they are in the same fact family. Because we are using the fact family of 4, 7, and 28. Okay, so our, uh, our answer should be both equations belong to the same fact family and use the same numbers. Okay, let's try the answer. Okay, my heroes, write with me. Okay, both. Equations. Belong. To. The same. Fact. Family. And of course, they use the same numbers and use the same numbers and use the same numbers because they are in the same fact family. Okay, my heroes, write the answer. You have one minute. Please, my heroes, meet your mics. Okay. Teacher, can I go to the bathroom? If it's urgent, yes, you can go quickly.
Mister, can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> okay, if it's urgent, you can go. And guys, you, you can wait and go after the this session. Because you have a break after this session. Again, what's this? Me and Saleh, you can see the, the page in the WhatsApp. The page? Yeah, because I will uh, write it. Okay. Because I will write it. No, I will not send it. Write it now. Quickly. Okay. okay. Okay, if you didn't finish, you can watch the video, you will find it in Placer, okay? And now we need to move to the next page. I am finished. Okay, please mute your mics. Okay, now we will solve question number one and I want one of my heroes to help me so I will read the question first. Let's see the question. Look back at the problem on page 206. Suppose Sabrina put eight more quarters in her bank how many one dollar bills can she trade for the quarters in here in her bank okay to answer this question of course we need to move back to page 206 this page okay here sabrina has 28 quarters okay and Uh, she wants to trade all of them for one dollar bill so she arranged them in rows and as we saw in the video we had seven rows okay and now the question is If she has eight more quarters, eight more quarters. Okay, of, of course I need one of my heroes to help me, so I will pick one of my heroes. Muammal? I am here. Okay, Muammal, you know that here we have. Uh, in this page, when we uh, divided 28, 28 by 4, we by got 7. Four. Yes. Okay. Okay. What if we have more 8? If we need to add to the 28, add another 8. You think that? We can divide the 8 by 4 and add the number, right? 8 divided 4 yeah. equals? How many more eight rows? More, two. Two more rows. So we have 7 rows and 2 more rows. So what is the total? It's 2. Uh, 7 plus 2 is? 9. 9. So the answer should be 9. Let's go back to the question and write the answer that it will be 9 one dollar bills. Okay, because we divided the 8 by 4, it gives us two more rows. 
8 divided by 4 equal 2. So we have 7 rows plus 2 rows. So in total we have 9. Okay. 9, 1 dollar. Okay, sorry. Okay, my heroes, let's move to the next question. And of course, you know that. Classroom. Okay, you can go quickly. Thank you. Okay, in this question. It, it asks us to explain to explain why when we need to solve this equation 49 divided by 7 we need to think of a number that if we multiply it by 7 gives 49 okay and of course you know that the numbers for the division and multiplication problems are the same in the same fact family so quotients in the division should be the same as the missing factor in the multiplication and my heroes this is too much to write so i will not write the answer okay because it's uh, this is too much to write but we can simplify this uh, how to write that we are using the same numbers so the quotient should be the same as the missing factor for multiplication because they are in the same family in the same fact family okay okay my heroes now we will move to question number three use a multiplication or division fact or complete the equations to solve question number three i want one of my heroes to help little ali Al Hassan Al Humaydan. Yes, teacher. Okay, forty-five divided by five. Equal nine. And five times what number gives forty-five? Nine. Okay, great. Thank you, my hero. And let's move to the next question. Hamza. Khalid Muhammad Al-Ghafri Usama What's your name? Yes, teacher, I'm Muhammad Al-Ghafri Yes, Muhammad Yes, teacher, I'm Muhammad Al-Ghafri Three times what gives 21? Three times what gives 21? Uh, Muhammad. Uh, seven. Seven. So, 21 divided by 3 equals? Seven. Great. Seven. Thank you, my hero. Okay, let's move to the next question. Usama? Khalid? Azim? Teacher, I am Usama. I said that three times single is equal to one. Usama, question number five. Usama? Adam? Thank you, my hero. Okay, 
Guys, I will move down so you can see question number six and question number seven. Please finish writing these quickly. You have 30 seconds. I finish all the page and the homework, teacher. So I am Hazan Hamidan. I finish all the page. Teacher, I am Ziad. I finish all the page and and me too. Me too. I finish all the page. Okay, you are heroes. I finish all the page. Haider. Here. I finish. I finish all this. Is yes. Question number six. Twenty-four divided by six equal four. Six multiplied by four equal twenty-four. Excellent. Thank you. Say me. Yes. Go ahead. Six multiply two. Equal. Okay, Sahmi, continue. Six times two equals twelve, and twelve divided six equals, of course. Twelve, twelve, divided by six equals two. Great. So, guys, as you can see, it needs. Who's this? Khalid, I want to see the answer for up. Okay, you can watch the video, Khalid. Do not interrupt me again. Okay, sorry. I gave you time. Okay. Okay, my heroes. So, uh, now I will send to you a link. Okay, please do not use the chat. Okay? And... I don't know. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know. Okay, thanks. Uh, Hamza? Yes. Answer the first question. Four children are playing Ten. tennis together. Twenty-four. They are... Twenty-four. They... Okay, explain. Because there are... I was reading the question and you stopped me. I was explaining to you. You just choose any number. By luck? No, Hamza, you should read the question. Okay. Four children are playing tennis together. They all bought six balls. How many balls do they, do they have total? Okay. How many children... And four. four and each one has six six balls so the first one has six the second has six so six will repeat four times that's why we will multiply six by four and of course Hamza six times four equals um, uh, 24 great thank you Hamza and now guys let's move to question number two Ibrahim Al Habub? Yes, I'm here. I have eight bags. There are five, there are candy, five bars candy bars in each bag. Bars in each bag. How many candy bars do I have? Yes, what should we do? Mm. Of course we are repeating Multiply. the five. Yes, we are repeating the five. Five will repeat eight times. So five times eight. Eight multiply five yes. equals forty. Excellent. Thank you, my hero. So it's forty and let's move to the next question. You're welcome. Brother Ali? Yes. Uh, the next question I have twenty one diamonds. I divide them into seven rows. How many diamonds do I have in each row? Uh, it's clear that we are dividing them into seven rows. So 21 divided by seven. Three. 
Yes, free. Thank you. Salih Bali. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Salih. Yeah. Okay. Max had five bags of cars. Each bag had nine cars. How many cars? Again. Forty-five. Explain why. Forty-five. Why? Uh, five uh, multiply nine equal forty-five. Excellent. Thank you, my hero. Muhammad Ali. Yes, teacher. The next question. Six multiplied by two. Six multiplied by two. Yes. Twelve. Twelve. Thank you. Okay. Hazim. Yes. Twenty-one divided by three. Seven. Thank you. Great. Khalid. Here, Mr. Khalid. Thirty divided by six. Thirty divided by six. Five. Great. Thank you. Welcome. Why yet? I'm here. Forty-eight divided by eight. Easy six. Great. Thank you. Muhammad Bukhamsin. Yes, teacher. Fifty-four divided by nine. Uh, six. Yes, six. Great. Thank you, my hero. Hussein Al Ghaith. Hussein. I am here. The last question. Thirty-six divided by nine. Thirty-six divided by nine equal four. Four. Excellent. Thank you, my hero, and thank you, everyone. Okay. Now, my heroes, do you have any questions? No. No. All of all. Of us. Okay. No, so we'll end you. the session. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Great. No. Okay. Now we will bye, end the bye. session. Thank you. See you tomorrow. And bye. goodbye. Bye bye.